our biggest defense against viruses and all the new viruses that are going to be coming is for us to have healthy gut bacteria and healthy soil. Great question, what kind of fertilizer do we use? And the goal of a regenerative farm, the goal of what we're doing here is that we don't use fertilizer, that we grow good soil. We grow high amounts of microbial activity in the soil such that the soil has all the minerals that it needs to feed the plants. And that's a perfect world. And that's what we're working towards, but we're not there yet. So right now, um, we use a lot of different things for fertilizer, so I'm gonna go over some of the different ways. This is my personal worm bin. We have a bigger um, worm bin, so we'll show what that looks like, all these worms. Um, and so this is kitchen scraps from our kitchen, and just a couple weeks, it turns into this black, beautiful soil. Other things that we use for fertilizer are, we use the horse poop from the horses. We use sheep poop, we use, uh, chicken poop, all of those uh, get composted and get put on our crops and feed our soil. Again, like I said, what I'm trying to do is really have healthy soil. I'm not uh, try, trying to just feed the plant, but to trying to feed the soil. In the Korean natural farming and lots of other farming, effective microorganisms um, are used. And some people go out and go and find you know, soil and get the effective, the wild effect of microorganisms. And I do that for my worm bins, try to get wild soil from different places and add it to my worm bins. But you can also buy like tried and true effective microorganisms on the internet. There's a company that sells EM1s, which stands for effective microorganisms. Um, and then you can reproduce them. So this is water that has no chlorine in it. And then we add molasses and the effective microorganisms and it reproduces itself so you don't have to keep buying it. And then we feed this out to the irrigation lines. So we're feeding these microbes into um, the soil. So this is an excellent way to have good soil health. Other thing is you may know that we feed our animals spent grain from the brewery. And so we treat all of the spent grain from the brewery with EM1s and so it doesn't go septic and go bad. We can feed it to the animals for days and it never goes bad. That way the animals are getting the EM1s in their gut. And we all know that gut health and gut bacteria and having the good microbes in your gut is just as important as having them in the soil. And there is a deep connection between not having enough healthy soil and us not having healthy guts. And nobody wants to talk about this right now with the virus in the world and everything, but our biggest defense against viruses and all the new viruses that are gonna be coming is for us to have healthy gut bacteria and healthy soil. Those two things, those combinations are gonna give us all the micronutrients that we need so that we can fight. But if we sanitize the world, we get weaker and weaker and weaker. And so I recommend that we all eat some soil. Lick in the worm bin in my mouth. Almost over it, my babies, I'm almost over it. Okay, as a last resort, we use a granular organic fertilizer. This is derived from chicken poop and volcanic ash and it slowly releases. And so if we don't think that the soil is really healthy in this area yet, we will add this as an additive. But our goal is to grow the soil to be healthy and not use uh, granular fertilizer. But this is a 444 and it is a basic organic 444 derived from chicken poop. Okay.